Horizon Forbidden West. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words. The developer. Experience the epic Horizon Forbidden West in its entirety with bonus content and the Burning Shores expansion included. The Burning Shores add-on contains additional content for Allies' adventure, including new stories, characters and experiences in a stunning yet hazardous new area. First up guys, we'll have a quick look at the graphical options. As you would expect, there's quite a few twiddle and tweakers uh, that you can change to get the game running the way you want it. And I have to say guys, this game runs brilliant on my old 2080. I mean, if you have anything round about a 2080, you can run this, no problem. Albeit, if you want um, above 60 frames a second, I was getting up to 80, 90 frames a second in 1080p with the graphic detail looking really nice. Uh, you go to 1440p, it does take a bit of a hit, but this does feel better optimised than Horizon Zero Dawn did. Uh, in fact, well it is, it is better optimised than Hori Horizon Zero Dawn. It just runs great. I mean, I've been having no problems at all. I did lock it at 60, just for um, editing purposes. But when I did um, allow it to just run a run around, I was getting up to 90 frames a second. And uh, it's, it's just, yeah. When you look at this compared to Dragon's Dogma 2, it's night and day. Absolutely night and day. Also, the control with the mouse and keyboard is fantastic in this. I mean, it is really nailed on. It, it just works pretty much flawlessly. And, you know, coming from Dragon's Dogma 2 to this, it's it's like I've been... I feel like I've just been in the Stone Age uh, playing Dragon's Dogma compared to this. It's fluid, it's fast, it runs well, it looks so much better. And like I say, the controls are just brilliant. And you can rebind everything. No conflicts, no bullshitty key uh, systems that you have to have in. It just It's just light years ahead of, of what... This is what games should be like. All games should be like this. If these can do it, everybody else should be able to do it. Simple as that. The game itself is its it is what Horizon Zero Dawn is. Um, it's full of absolutely stupid mechanics like stealthing in a bush where you can clearly see where you are. <laughs> and just sitting there with your head and shoulders peering out of this f***ing bush while the machines and uh, nasties are just walking by. Nothing to say here. We have no idea you're literally there. It's, it's bullshit. All the parkour climbing again is just like the first one. Absolute wank. You just don't feel that you're doing anything. The game does it all for you. You literally just press forward and you will jump, skip, hop, leap, just climb. It, it's just shite to be honest in all of that. It is what the first one. If you like the first one, you'll love this because it's just more of the same. And it has to be said, guys, if you just detach your brain uh, from what, what what you're used to and just enjoy the open world, enjoy the game, it is a fun game. The bow and arrow uh, is excellent. You get new weapons as well this time around. You can upgrade everything, your weapons, your outfits, and there's a few different uh, armor sets that you can get. And the combat, again, is really, really good fun. Bang it up onto hard. I played most of this on normal to get as far into the game as I could in the hours that I allocated. I only allocated myself uh, five hours to, to play this because I've got to move on to other stuff. But like the, I remember in the first one, it was very similar in the combat, so I put it on hard and it is much better. Switch hood items off as well for the, for the better experience, where you have to really kind of work hard to bring down the enemies. But the, the way it works is you scan them, you have a look at the weaknesses, and then you exploit that. Uh, you can kill pretty much everything from stealth, which is, um, again, like it was in the first one, which... It, it is a bit boring after a while. It's much more fun dodging like a prick, rolling around the floor and just trying to aim properly and trying to get some Welsh aimed arrows in its face, setting up uh, trip wires, booby traps, all kinds of stuff. You've got freeze bombs, fire arrows, toxic chemical arrows. You've got loads of stuff that you can unlock in your skill tree as well to get them extra shots. It's just a, a way more fleshed out game than Horizon Zero Dawn was. It's definitely better definitely better than horizon zero dawn and if you don't mind the casualness the hand holding and the absolutely stupid mechanics you there is a game that you can really enjoy that i'm having a blast playing it i mean it has to be said it's one of them detached brains and just play it's just that kind of if you, but that's purely because it works so well on a mouse and keyboard and you're using a bow and arrow i mean i just kind of zone out all the rest of the shite and it's just me 
with a bone. I just love it. The story uh, follows on directly from Horizon Zero Dawn. A, a few of the characters from the first one are, are in this one as well. So if you like that story, you're going to like this story. It just kind of uh, moves on from there. This is just, uh, like I said, uh, first impressions of the game. Um, I mean, the, the, the prologue lasted four hours. <laughs> I'd played the game, done loads of stuff in the game, and then it came up, uh, written by, directed by Horizon Forbidden West title, and I'm thinking, what? I played four hours. It was just hilarious. Um, so, yeah, it is quite a long game, a huge open world, lots to do, and it deserves its very positive uh, rating of 92% or whatever it is on, on Steam, because this is a really fun game to play. Just don't go into it expecting any kind of seriousness in it's full of bullshit mechanics but it's fun you can have fun without a game being absolutely serious and realistic and this is one of them as was its predecessor horizon zero dawn so there you go guys you can grab us on green man gaming as well links in the description uh, if you want to support the channel but i'm thumbing this up because it is good fun it's it is it's just good fun <laughs>